vulcanization is the process of treating natural rubber with sulfur and heat to create a more durable material that is resistant to wear and tear, temperature changes, and chemical degradation. This process was discovered by Charles Goodyear in 1839 and revolutionized the rubber industry, making it possible to produce a wide range of rubber products that could withstand a variety of harsh conditions. Before vulcanization, natural rubber was soft, sticky, and prone to melting in hot weather or becoming brittle in cold weather. This limited its use to items such as erasers, shoes so lace, and rubber balls. However, with the development of vulcanization, rubber became an essential material for a wide range of applications, including tires, gaskets, hoses, seals, and electrical insulation. Vulcanization has also had a significant impact on the global economy, as the rubber products have become essential to many industries including automotive, aerospace, construction, and electronics. While vulcanization has greatly improved the properties of natural rubber, there are still some limitations and drawbacks to the process. For example, vulcanization can be time-consuming and energy-intensive, and the resulting rubber products can be difficult to recycle or dispose of. Additionally, vulcanized rubber can be prone to cracking and degradation over time, particularly in extreme environments. To improve the process of vulcanization, researchers are exploring new methods for producing more durable and environmentally friendly rubber products. Some of these efforts include developing new types of rubber that are less prone to degradation, exploring alternative methods for treating rubber that use less energy or produce less waste, and finding new ways to recycle and reuse vulcanized rubber products.